When troubleshooting the WR2 sensor in the field, if you can see the plus sign on your battery, it's installed backwards. This is the correct battery placement, and we provide you a guide to ensure batteries are installed correctly. Another troubleshooting technique is to ensure that the battery contact is located well above the floor of the battery cavity. Never connect the controller interface directly to a pigtail or a wall socket. The controller interface only needs 24 volts for proper operation. To properly wire, always wire the WR2 controller interface power lines into an irrigation controller or Rainbird transformer. To properly wire the WR2 controller interface into an irrigation controller, use the sensor ports. The black and the red wires connect to the 24 volt AC, while the green and the white wires connect to the sensor terminal points. Ask your distributor about the WR2 notebook that includes correct wiring installation techniques. When manually testing the suspend mode, find a sharpie or a pencil. Using the blunt end, insert into the sensor cap and depress gently. An X will appear on the LCD screen indicating suspension of irrigation. When removing the Sharpie from the sensor cap, the LCD screen clears suspend mode after 10 minutes.